<laughs> uh, if you're looking for an excuse to get out of the house, Marble Springs State Historic Site offering, again, some of its smaller size workshops. Yeah, Emily DeVoe has a sneak peek of Saturday's event that still has a few spots open. History can teach us some valuable lessons as well as some handy skills that you can still use today. One of those is food preservation and here at Marble Springs State Historic Site, you can learn how to do it. A lot of times people think history is so removed but um, it really is translatable in today, and food is the perfect medium to do so. You can just add a little bit back. For from, more than 30 years, tie it off. Jim Buckenmeyer has practiced 18th century food preservation. It's extremely important. The meat shortage that we just experienced. You know, they say if you don't learn from history, you're doomed. Well, a lot of people were like, oh, well, I'll just fill my freezer. What if worse came to worst? Even with today's modern conveniences, he says there's value in learning the skills of the people who came before us. The idea of preserving foods is still um, kind of coming back. It's on a comeback um, and to prepare for the future. So now we kind of deem it as kind of an emergency goodness kind of a thing. The all day workshop will cover everything from pickling and drying to smoking and everything in between. All your waste. On this particular day, your cores, your peels. Jim explains how to make apple cider vinegar while Michelle Jacobs lines up the apples for drying. Use some pies and all forms of cooking later. Giving us a taste of what to expect at the event. There are still a few spots left for the food preservation workshop. You can find it on the Marble Spring State Historic Sites Facebook page. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Emily, I, thanks. I was going to say, by the way, sorry, tickets are $30 and the event is Saturday.